PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. In this video series called Letting Go of the Petty, we'll be discussing how the petty things in life can bring us down and create stress and anxiety. But there's no need for despair. There is a way to free yourself. We'll be presenting options in this series that you can use to address this problem. Let me start by asking you something. Have you known people who might complete a task and do a really good job from your perspective, but they notice a small imperfection and they end up starting all over again? Perhaps this is something you struggle with. Often, you might not be aware of your own tendencies to feel the need to do everything perfectly as a way of feeling better. You might seek the approval of others by not stopping until things are perfect. However, consider what Dr. David Burns, in his book, When Panic Attacks, discusses about the tendencies as performance perfectionism, perceived perfectionism, and approval addiction. One important point from reading this section of the book is these perfectionistic tendencies can be detrimental for the individual who's exercising them. It is true that there may be times when everyone around you is very impressed by what you've done. However, in reality, because we're all individuals, differences of opinion and preferences through the law of averages means that you will eventually encounter some people who don't like what you've done. This, of course, doesn't mean you've actually done a bad job in such a case, but it does mean that if you're someone who seeks perfectionism and approval, you will often be drawn into petty comments and criticisms. So, the natural question is, what exactly do you do if you find yourself overly focused on the petty and reaching for perfectionism? Here's one way to get started. The next time you are doing something, just examine whether you've done an adequate job as opposed to being perfect. If it's not perfect but it's good enough, then in many cases this can be a reasonable standard, certainly for routine tasks. I'm not suggesting you lower your standards entirely, and I know that some people, given this suggestion, will feel uncomfortable. There are some tasks that actually require you to do a very good job, but other things that don't require the same standard. Controlling perfectionism is not a tendency to stop easily, so it does take practice, but it's worth it in the long run because this can be very freeing. By not having your energy zapped by petty things, you can save your energy for those really important tasks that require more effort, rather than hyper-focusing on things that simply don't need as much effort. In part two of this series, we'll address what to do when you encounter criticism and how to avoid getting pulled into the petty. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to presenting the second video in this series next week. For the extended version of the material presented in this video series, you can listen to the podcast episode by visiting our website and subscribing to our free newsletter. PanicAttackRecovery.com